Hello and welcome back. This is Nick Milanchuk and this is step two line work of my series for making a comic book page. We left off last time finishing the roughs for the page. Now we're going to take those roughs and move on to the next part and draw all the line work for the comic page. So first I begin by laying out panels. This helps to lay out parameters for the artwork so I know where things will be and it's kind of a, a, a way to help organize the process. So I begin with selecting the my inking brush which is basically a flat brush tilted. And I want to go in and begin the drawing for the comic page by following all the framework that I laid down in the previous step. So all those rough lines just give me an indicator of where I need to draw. Uh, the roughing stage is a lot like kind of the sculpting and kind of just doing the heavy lifting. When you begin the line work, you want to zero in on what you want to be the final drawing. So how I go about it is I go over the entire page, all the roughs, and I try to do a very clean, simple line work around everything. And I'll come in later with varied line weights, shading, uh, blacks, all that stuff. But this is how I approach the first stage of doing the line work. And I go in carefully, but at the same time, I know I'm going to make so many adjustments and changes that I don't obsess about every line. Ultimately, I'm trying to make sure the anatomy is correct. I want to make sure the figures look right. I want to make sure everything looks the way I want it to look on the final page. You can always come in and make those changes, especially working digitally. It's very simple and very easy to get in and make the adjustments that you need to make, corrections, and clean things up. While creating roughs is the foundation, is the, probably the most important part, this, this stage of creating the page and doing comic book art, this is the heart of it right here, though. This is where you're going to show your abilities to illustrate. This is where the reader is going to absorb all the information that you put on the page. So it's vital that you take the time and you make sure you're putting in the effort and that everything is telling the story that you want to tell. You want to make sure that the writing and the art, this is all culminates to the line work here. Because after this, it's all makeup. It's all dressing. And as important as it all is, you have to have the line work right and you have to have the line work there to make the rest work. Now on one hand, every artist and every creator goes about making comic books differently. And that's what's really great about all this. And so whether you're doing a cell shaded style or a painted style, it all starts with some form of a line work there though. There you have your structure that you build on. So it's a real key part of the comic book making process. And talking for a second about the approach of illustrating comic books. I get asked about my style. People wonder how I go about developing a style or where my style came from. I always just say a lot of it came from being inspired by a, you know, a variety of different artists. Uh, I personally really enjoy artists like Ashley Wood, who's an incredible artist. He works in you know, uh, a lot of different mediums. And also artists like uh, Yoji Shinkawa, Japanese uh, artist who is responsible for the Metal Gear Solid concept art. And so it's basically an amalgam of all, all of the things that interest me and all the styles that I find interesting to look at. And when you kind of take it all in and, and you're, you're, you're developing your own art and you're experimenting, like I said previously, you'll start finding the things that you like start standing out. And usually it's, it's things that are unique and di very different. Those are the things that stand out most. And as long as you embrace those things, and, and they may appear even to be mistakes or they may uh, appear to be weaknesses. But if you kind of just see them through and see what happens... I find that's when you, you start discovering little pieces that make up your style. And uh, just working at it consistently and, 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 and just letting things kind of play out through discovery and experimentation could help you discover your own unique style. It's a style that expresses who you are as an artist and uh, that may set you apart from the rest. 
So coming up here on the page, I'll begin doing an outline, which is something that I've introduced for this particular series I'm working on. This is something new that I've added on to my art. And what I do is I just kind of pick kind of like a fat brush and I just kind of all of the points of interest I go around and I want to make sure that they're highlighted. So often it's the, the figures or uh, whatever the subject matter might be. I want to highlight that and make it pop out of the page. It's a technique that's used often, but I wanted to use it. I want to utilize it for this series because I'm rendering it in black and white and I want the reader to be able to pick out the important parts of the scene. So in this stage going forward, I want to make sure I made the most of using my roughs. And I want to make sure that the page has taken shape. I, I want to look at the script, make sure the scene is really telling the story that I want to tell. Because going forward, we're just going to be dressing this up. So this is the end of the drawing for the page. And for some comic artists, this is the uh, the last step of the illustration process. Sometimes the line work gets sent on and then it becomes it gets colored. Here we'll move on to the next step, which will be rendering, black and white, uh, detail work, lighting, all those kinds of things that are going to make the page really pop. So looking at the page now, you'll see quite a big difference between the roughs and the line work. We cleaned up everything. We we used all of the the framework to create a more finished looking piece. So we're halfway there. The page is coming along. We'll be moving on to the next step, which I call rendering. And that will be the final step. So thanks for watching and uh, keep an eye out for the next part of the series.